So we've been talking about our leadership in the home and in the church and in different places that God has given us opportunity to lead. We've been talking about investing in our influence. Remember that leadership is influence. That's a common definition that we've been running off of. And we want to make daily, regular investments into our influence so that we can make it easy for others to follow us. But I have a, had a thought that we can make investments into our leadership as we ought to but then still lack the confidence to lead. Let's talk a little bit about that. You know that God can give us the confidence that we need to lead. We don't have to be timid about the call that he's put on our life. And so he can give us the confidence that we need to lead. Let's think about first, the way that God gives us confidence to lead is through the call of God upon our lives. You know the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 24, faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it. God doesn't call the equipped, he, he equips the called. So if God has called you to be a husband, he's gonna equip you. If God has called you to be a father, he's gonna equip you. If God has given you an opportunity in your local church to minister and to serve others and to lead others, he is going to equip you to do that. That's an amazing thing about God. So the call of God is what gives us the confidence to lead. Number two, the relationship that we can have with God is what gives us confidence to lead. Guys, if we don't have a relationship with God on a daily basis, you're going to lack confidence to lead out in your home. Moses was a great example of this in Exodus 33 when he, uh, he came to the Lord and he was talking about what, what God had called him to do. And he, he asked God, he told God, he says, hey, you've said that you know my name. And God says, yes, I do know your name. I know your name. Moses relied very heavily on the relationship that he had with God and the fact that God knew who he was and there was a personal relationship, one, uh, one that was uh, so personal that, that God knew his name and that they had that knowledge between them. Moses relied on that as he led those millions of Israelites through the wilderness and what a group that was to lead. But Moses uh, relied upon his relationship with God, and so ought we. We need to be in God's word. We need to be pray um, pr um, praying daily and often uh, without ceasing in our, in our daily lives so that we can have the confidence that we need to lead as God has called us to do. Number three, and lastly, uh, the presence of God is what will give us confidence to lead. Also, Moses in Mo uh, Exodus chapter 4 and also Exodus 33 we see that Moses relied very heavily on the presence of God. In fact, in Exodus 33, Moses told God that he would not go up unless God went with him. And that's the exact spirit that you and I need to have as we uh, lead out in our homes and in our churches and in other places. God, unless you go with me, I can't go. The beautiful thing is that we have the Holy Spirit with us, abiding in our hearts as believers, and he's always with us. We just need to make sure that we're always cognizant of that and there were always yielded, uh, yielding to him on a daily basis so that his power can be uh, real in our lives. Let me encourage you, let the presence of God give you confidence to lead and he is there to do just that and he will do that for you if you seek him in that way. Let's lead for the glory of God. Let's make sure that there's not a leadership vacuum happening in our homes or in our churches because we have neglected the call of God upon our lives to lead out in the roles that he has given us. Let's lead for his glory. May God bless you and thank you for listening.